All right, boys, welcome back to Midnight Cigars. My name is Eric, and today we will be reviewing Blackbird Blackbird Glitch Claro. So yeah, I think the last one I smoked was the Habano. I didn't like it as much. And it's time we tried the Cl Claro because why not? You know what I mean? I haven't smoked a Kanak in a while. Let's see what happened. Why don't we take a closer look at it? All right, here's the scar. Glitch, Claro. Oh, well, good looking wrapper, good looking cigar. So you could get the cigar for $5.50. Forty-nine cents, which is not expensive whatsoever. And the wrapper is Ecuador, in Connecticut. Filler is Dominican and USA. Uh, binder is Mexico. The size is five by fifty, and that's it. But yeah, uh, like I said, I haven't smoked Connecticut in a bit actually. So we we'll see what happened. It seems like it's a strong Connecticut because of the blend, but I'm not sure. Why don't you just cut it and light it? Alright, so aroma. Very light barnyard. Sweeter wood on the foot. We see what happened. Nice clean cut. Cold draw. It's not as clean as I want, actually. Okay, it's better now. Cold draw. A little saltiness on the cold draw. That's not too bad. All right, let's light it. Like a boss, like a boss. I rock designer and my diamonds shining plus. Like a boss, like a boss. I rock designer and my diamonds shining. Okay, it is lighter. It's a lot light, lighter. Um, creamy, a little bit sourness, a little toastiness, a little nuttiness. On the retro, there's a baking spice. Maybe red pepper spice, with a little bit of dankiness. The spice does linger on the nostril. <sighs> and a little bit of ammonia. Or mineral. No, I would say ammonia. I know retro on the finish. A little bit of it, it's not too much. So overall, first impression, Few puff. <laughs> it's not like a bold Connecticut, but it's not something uh, like a traditional one either, to tell the truth. Because of the blend, they have a little bit more like spice to everything but it's not like something that you can't handle or like 
is go overboard or something like that. No, it's nothing like that. It just have more oomph, a little bit tiny bit of oomph to it. It's like a herbal, a little bit of herbal, uh, a little bit herbal floral on the retro L as well. So yeah, that's it for the fuel puff. We find out if I, uh, like I said, I don't usually go towards Connecticut because I don't know. They don't bring enough for me in the table most of the time. But yeah, we see about this one. Hope it go well. It's more like a mellow, chill smoke as of right now, so it's probably going to stay that way as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the first turn. Alright boys, we're back at the end of the, uh, the first third. Um, it's a little sour. Woodsy, the creaminess went away. There's a little bit of sweetness on the retro hell. The baking spice is still there. But nothing really much going on on the palate or the retro hell. I don't know what to, you know? It, it is what it is. It doesn't wow me, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't... It doesn't like just fall flat on his face either. It's like... It's eh, you know? It's nothing really interesting. There is a dankiness, but it's so much dankiness that it just turns sour. That's how I think how I would describe that. And like I said, it's just another smoke. Nothing really special about it so far. Well, what do you expect, right? It's only what, $6, something like that. But um, overall, so far, nothing impressive. You can smoke it, you enjoy it. It's not the strength, the, the body is like medium. Strength is that medium. It's not something going crazy. It's not medium to medium. It's not like medium plus to full of anything. You know what I mean? That's just on the first third though. We see what happened at the end of the second third. All right, boys, uh, welcome back. We're at the end of the second third. So the cigar have not changed one bit. One bit, it had the same note at the first third, nothing changed, nothing really major happened. I noticed that I have to fix up the burn quite a bit. Sometimes it just doesn't burn on this one side. I had to correct it, but it's fine. You know, I, I don't mind correcting cigars, but it's good when you don't have to correct it, right? It's better because you don't have to pay attention to it or you like, you know, you keep puffing on it. It's like, okay, pretty nice, whatever. But once you know, it's but it's nothing like crazy, a like major big deal or anything like that. Blackbird. So yeah, um, nothing really changed. Would see, see have that little bit of sourness from the dankiness, bacon spice and retro with a little bit would see and a little creaminess. No transition. So. That's it for the second third. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's just as of right now, it's just uh, I just want to get get the cigar over with. Tell the truth, and uh, because there's it's not interesting to me in flavor wise or anything like that. So yeah, why don't we just you know skip to the final third? See you then. All right, boys, we're back at the end of the cigar. Um, from stop, well, not from start to finish, but um, from a quarter way in from the first third all the way to the final third, really nothing much change. It's just a Connecticut that doesn't taste as creamy or as sweet, I would say, and nuttiness. Uh, it happened, the baking, ba baking spice stays. Woodsiness, 
a little bit nuttiness, a little bit creaminess in the dankiness, a little bit sour still there on your palate. Retro House, same thing, just spicy. Not like pepper spice, but just like all spice, baking spice, something like that, right? Uh, really nothing much change on the Retro Hell. So overall, it's a smoke that I would I tell you, I don't want, I don't want to smoke it again. It's like, I couldn't wait to get over with because it's very boring. I haven't found in Connecticut that really, well, because I don't go out and look for Connecticut that really, that I really want to smoke, tell the truth. Maybe, maybe in the future, I would try to go find that, but I doubt that because I'm not a Connecticut guy. But um, if you find a good Connecticut, go for it, smoke it. You love it. That's great. Or you could try to recommend me a Connecticut to try that I haven't tried yet. Or I haven't re review it yet, but I probably smoke a lot of them already. But um, but if I haven't review it, I would try to get it. But then it's, I don't know when it's not going to happen either. To tell the truth, I don't know. Um, other than that, really the cigar is not impressive to me. So the way I rate my cigar is 1 to 6.9 is a no-go, 7 to 7.9 is a rebuy or a 5 pack, 8 and above is a box worthy. And this cigar laying in a no-go, I give it a 3 out of 10. Yeah, it's nothing really impressive. Wouldn't pick it up again, wouldn't try it again. I don't really smoke a lot of Blackbird stuff, but hey, that will be it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you next time. Peace.